Hello, my name is Tyler Abernathy and I am the TLC here at Blythewood Middle School. Today I'm here to speak with you about your child's Chromebook. I hope that today's general and safety tips will ensure that your child's device remains safe throughout the entire school year. As you will see, I have your child, an example of your child's Chromebook carrying case. Every child was issued one of these cases and they will keep it throughout their time here in Blythewood Middle School and any middle or high school that they go to in Richland School District 2. In the event that your child were to lose their Chromebook carrying case, you may purchase another one through uh, your school's TLC. Your Chromebook carrying case is extremely important as this is the best way for your child to keep, your, keep their Chromebook safe between all the different places that they travel to. All students when they go from class to class should have their Chromebook in their carrying case. So let's take a peek and see what's inside. First in the front pouch, this is where your child keeps their charging adapter. Their charging adapter can come with them every day to school, but the battery life on these new Chromebooks are roughly six and a half hours. So if your child charges their device fully at night, they shouldn't have to bring it with them during the school day as that will ensure that they have plenty of battery life for all of their classes throughout the school day. As they have their Chromebook uh, charging adapter with them, please know this recommended that students not loan out or let other students borrow their charger as this can sometimes cause a charger to be misplaced or to be taken and we don't want students to be charged falsely for losing a charging adapter. So it is best recommended that students keep their own chargers and make sure that it is in a safe, secure place. Now that we've talked about the charging adapter, let's look at the Chromebook. Our students at Blythewood Middle School have the new Dell 11 Chromebook. This is a brand new device for our district and our students are the only ones right now who are using it. As you can see, it's a little bit different than the previous model that we had. It's thinner, but it has some new features that will hopefully be a great addition and ensure better safety for your child and the device. When you open a Chromebook, and this is for any of them, they power on automatically. You don't have to press the power button. Pressing the power button sometimes when you open up the screen can cause what I affectionately call black screen syndrome. So we don't want that. So as you power it on, as you can see, the screen is light, uh, lit up, and your child can then put in their eight digit student number at richland2.org and begin using the device and accessing all the websites and apps that their teachers use in the classroom. As we look at how to properly hold the device, as you can see, I'm holding it by the base. Students, please make sure parents, siblings, hold the Chromebook by the base. Holding this Chromebook by the screen is something I do not recommend as it can cause uh, the LCD panel to crack or it can just cause the device to uh, have wires become loose and therefore your child wouldn't be able to use it and a work order would have to be placed. Other features that are uh, nice for this device is the screen does go 180 degrees. This doesn't mean that your child needs to carry it straight up like this, but as opposed to our previous model, the screen does go all the way back rather than just stopping here. Once your child's logged in and they're doing their different things, if they're going to another class, they can just close their Chromebook screen and put it in their case and go to their next class. Realize when they do this, that it is just putting the device to sleep. So battery life is still being used. However, if you're going from class to class or going to be using it uh, a short time after uh, where you are, it's fine to do this. If you want to properly shut the device down, what your child or you need to make sure you do is to take your mouse cursor and go to where either it says shut down or if they are signed in, they can click on the power icon. When you do that and you take the mouse and go to the shutdown, what will happen is the screen will begin to go black. However, there's still a part of the screen that's lit up and you can tell that. When the screen goes completely dark, that's when you know that the device is powered off and you are able to close it and put it back in the case. As you can see, I have our Chromebook on a safe, secure table. It's on a flat surface. Students, siblings, parents, please make sure that a Chromebook's not hanging off an edge, sitting on their laps, or just even sitting on a bed. At times it can fall off a pillow or just an unsecure surface. This can cause a cracked screen or other damage, and we certainly don't want that to happen. 
Now that we're done with using our Chromebook, we safely put it back into our case, zip it up so that it's secure, and we're on our way. I hope that this is a great year for your child and for you with their Chromebook. Have a great day.